It's almost impossible to get through your day without eating refined sugar. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, we're the world's biggest consumer of it. On average, Americans eat an extra 350 calories a day in added sugar. To put that in perspective, the American Heart Association recommends we only consume this much. While the negative effects of consuming too much sugar are well known, that hasn't stopped us from eating it. Because sugar actually makes our brain happy. It releases dopamine when we consume it. Even though some food and drinks sweetened with sugar substitutes may have fewer calories, experts say they're not always a healthier alternative. But is it the tastier one? We asked five people if sugar by any other name still tastes as sweet. Our panelists tasted well-known sweeteners like stevia and splenda to less common ones like yacone powder and tagatose. The latter is not commonly found in the U.S. yet, but is produced from milk, fruits, and vegetables. Yeah, that definitely tastes artificial. The reactions were mixed. Xylitol, which is often used in making sugar-free gum, was the most sugar-like. It looks and um, pretty much tastes like commercial sugar. It tastes like sugar. Tasters thought yacone powder, derived from the yacone root, was the least sweet. It doesn't taste sweet in any way to me. Stevia powder received the strongest reactions, even though it is often used in zero-calorie beverages like vitamin water zero. Oh my god. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, it just tastes like a, it tastes like a chemical. Sucralose is most commonly known as Splenda, but testers also complained of a terrible aftertaste. And that one's also really bitter. With an aftertaste that is sticking on my tongue right now. But in the end, nothing beats sugar. Tastes like sugar. That's sugar.